Radiata stories. That's that's what we're playing today. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I have to get things set up a little bit. You'll have to excuse the sudden change in uh, in everything. I finally imported everything over so that it would finally have all of my my chat stuff. Um, I need to add a window capture. We're gonna call this emulators, and yeah, that's the one. <laughs> And we're just gonna boop. Yeah? No. Oh god. This isn't a... Uh... I haven't sorted this. Which is why I've, I've disappeared. It's, I'm working on it, game. It's like wigging out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, perfect. I also figured out how to like... I straight up have the Twitch chat docked to my OBS window, which is great. I could just look at that now. <laughs> you know, as you do. Oh, fancy. This is actually, I just realized, this is, this is, I knew I had this duplicated somewhere. This is the better version of my green screen camera. The one that I had meticulously managed to narrow down to near perfection. I forgot that I had it duplicated into Streamlabs. So I, I got that camera back. <laughs> no more fuzziness. <laughs> oh, snap. Do I still have... No. I just remembered. I just remembered. There we go. I was like, I still have Ridley in my party? And then I <laughs> loaded and I was like, no, I don't. Can I go into the city? I need supplies. I'm just saying. I wonder if Ridley's okay. I should hurry to Fort Helencia. Guess not. There it is. I gotta remember the buttons a little bit. I almost want to see if I could teleport to Fort Helencia, but I don't think I can. I could try. Oh, it just lets me. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> I ain't mad. I save stated. Oh, here we go. Oops. There we go. Now I've saved. And I saved before I get too stuck. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're just getting into it. Alright, nobody's even here yet, I think. Oh, no. Is the chat? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Jack. Sergeant Jack, never heard of you. You can't come in, so go home. <laughs> Jeez. I guess it takes a while for word to get around. <laughs> Poor Jack. I know I don't look like it, but I used to be a Radiata knight. You don't look like a knight, and you don't sound like one either. Now, Fran! Oh boy. Oh man, security guard from hell. He still really likes his job. Plus, Jack. <laughs> Oh, I didn't tweet. I'll do it with my phone. Now that the VLA chevre's been posted here, I guess it would be Lady Natalie. The VLA chevre. So that old geezer Leonard's here too. All right, get Natalie out here. Hey, Lady Natalie doesn't take orders from you. Okay, fine. Leonard's here too, right? Can he come out? Mr. Leonard. All right, wait here. Is this working? He's just getting away with this. Okay. Yeah, he's just, you know, it's fine. Oh, there's Leonard. I used to like you, Leonard. Oops, that was my fault. I defected, sorry. What? <laughs> oh, okay. 
I guess that's that then. Here's Natalie. I think I need... Sorry, I keep clicking out of the window and when I click you, back it lags. Now answer me. Why did you kidnap Lady Ridley? What? What? Kidnap her? Oh boy. You have witnesses. We know you abducted her. Uh, no. Listen, oh my god. You better come clean if you don't want to make things worse for yourself. <laughs> hey, wait a second. What are you talking about? Abducted? You guys think I kidnapped Ridley? You think she'd let me? She quit the nights and left the castle on her own. She said she wanted to go to the City of Flowers. Don't lie. Lady Ridley would never pull a crazy stunt like that. You clearly don't know Ridley. I'm serious. That's what she said. I got worried and followed her. She couldn't possibly deserve the kind and adoring Lord Jasmine. Yeah. Lady. She was moving up in the night. She had just been given her own brigade. Yeah, she quit. Why would she throw all that away? Oh my god. Now spit it out. Let's have the truth. We don't have any time for these ridiculous lies. I guess we're just gonna have to kick their butts. Doesn't have time. Ridley's been captured by the elves, and uh, uh, oops, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, who cares? Listen, if I don't take over this fort, the elves are going to kill Ridley. Okay? Huh? <laughs> Look, you don't have to believe me. Just hand over the fort. Oh my God, Jack. Whoa, whoa. Now hold on, Jack. You're not making much sense there, buddy. Wait, I know. You're angry about being fired from the night. Oh my god. You kidnapped Ridley for revenge, right? What? No, will you listen? He's not giving us any choice, Leonard. I guess we're going to have to get a little rough with him. Oh my god. I'm sorry we have to do this, Jack, but it's for your own good. Oh jeez. Uh, we're wasting time. Enough already. Just give me the fort. Now. Oh boy, here it goes. What are you doing? I'm taking over. Take him down, Leonard. All right. Good stuff. Let's go. I forgot. Oh god. I have to remember how to fight. All right. Uh it's not A. A is dodging out. Oh, Jesus. All right, I got it. Oh dear. I'm gonna try and take one out. Oh, Jesus. It's fine. We're actually doing alright. I think I'm gonna be okay. Out of curiosity. Oh, hey, Chris. Dodging in this game doesn't. Yeah, combat is very disorienting. I never dodge because, quite frankly, that just doesn't work. Ah, uh, dang it. I thought there was a way. Ah, uh, but let's zoom in on your attacks as you do your combo. Exactly. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was you know all right, fair. Woo! Ah, ooh, ow, 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 ow. All right. You know what? She can stay frozen though. Oh, I. You know what? This is great. Hang on. Items. Let's just <laughs> take a second here and. Thank you. Hey, there goes Leonard. Just as well that I over leveled. What's in September? Jesus. All right, look, madam. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I really need to figure out how to do these. I think I'm fine. <laughs> I could have survived that if I had full health. You're kidding. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I think, the newest Tales RPG. Ooh, okay. I haven't played any of the Tales games. Um, well. That went well. I think that's actually genuinely my first death. Like, 100%. Welp. Ah. I can't play them all. Sadly. Hey! Sorry, Jack. Jeez, listen. You don't look like a man. You say something. 
I'm basically, I don't know, I haven't really picked up a whole lot of new series. We're skipping this, I've already seen this cutscene. And unfortunately I can't, act, like, genuinely skip stuff in this game. It doesn't let you, so we're just gonna... The good news is, is I have turbo, so turbo works. Alright, we're gonna try and take her out first. <laughs> I mean, Jack is a good enough fighter to win, for sure. Hi, Daniel Veltheus. Alright, hang on. I, like, actually need to figure out how to do the Volties, because I didn't look it up, and they haven't reminded me, and I don't know. Radia stories. Volty Blast. How the flip do I do a Volty Blast? How do you unleash the Volty Blast? The other weapons require a different amount of kills. It is possible to learn the Volty Blast earlier by doing the training dummy exercises. One of the earlier exercises, I think it's around level 6, is to unleash a Volty Blast. If you haven't unlocked the Volty Blast, then you will receive it as a reward for beating the prior level. Am I thinking of the right thing? It's possible that I'm not. Hang on. Alright, hang on. Let me look real quick. I don't believe we've learned everything here, so... Yeah, we only have shotgun... I think this is the Volty Blast, but if that's the case, I do have um, this Rune Saber, which may honestly help me out a whole lot more. <sighs> oh, I don't actually have... Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's not it. Um... Yeah, there we go. Limit break. One-handed sword, Volty Blast. See, this is a Volty Blow. This is a Volty Blast. How the flip do I use this? <laughs> like, this... Okay, this told me, like, how to get a Volty Blast, but, like... What... What button do I press? Build your voltimeter and then press the square and X buttons at the same time. I'm using an Xbox controller. <laughs> I'm looking at the Xbox controller and I'm like... Triangle, circle, X. Yeah, it's these two. Okay, okay, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Tell me it's maxed out. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, finally! I knew it! I was like, I know I have this. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh! <laughs> Get wrecked! Oh, the, wow, that didn't that didn't kill her, and that that's definitely a problem. Okay, hang on. Actually, while we're doing that, um, as much as I love that, the Leviathan is actually better. I am genuinely aiming for her right now. If she gets that, if she starts glowing, we're going to max out my health. Oh my god. What is it with this chick? Oh god. Okay, hang on. We're okay. Oh god. Ow. Would you die? Madam? I'm halfway, so I'm gonna just... Dang it. As much as I love that Volty... Oops. Leonard is so easy to take out. Oh, oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. Jack, I swear to god. Jesus. Okay, we might not make that. This... I should've... Oh, you know what I should've done? Use it, use it, use it! Oh! We died. We died. 570 damage. That's if she doesn't crit. Yeah, I'm dead. Fabulous. 10 out of 10. 
All right, cool. GG. 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> it's her. She's like... Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's do that again. I'm going to... I'm in a save state because God bless. <laughs> Excuse me. We definitely need to save state. <laughs> Man, this is the first time I've actually lost in this game consecutively. We have enough health to survive. It's just that if I don't have basically full health, I won't survive. Literally. That's it. Hi, God King R. You've missed it. I've died twice. It's the first time I've died in this game. They're basically blaming Jack for kidnapping Ridley. Um, we're going to save state. Because I just... Look. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> okay. So, good news. I figured out how to do a Volti Blast. Um, Alright, I do... I, I'm beginning to think that it is genuinely impossible. Oops. Oh, wait. Hang on. <laughs> I was trying to do a Volti Blast, and I forgot that I don't have it unlocked for this weapon. Oh, get up. You're fine. We're fine. Hey, can I just leave him like that? Yeah, I'm just gonna... Hey. Ugh. Our attacks aren't bouncing off, Jack. Okay. We need to keep his health up. Maybe I can freeze her and then go back to wailing on Leonard. Because this is great. Try and hit me. Do something. Ugh. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Leonard's back. The other one. Thank you. Oh, you're fine. Hey, I froze Leonard again. Alright, look. It's not that I think that I need to be above 570 at all times. But I do actually think I need to be above 570 at all times. Alright, so. I am going to equip this. This is what we've not been using this entire time. Which I could have been using. But wasn't. Alright. <clears throat> I'm tempted to let her do her, her Volti Blast. But I don't know what's gonna... You know. I don't know what's gonna... Do I have anything... What are we at? We're at 657. She does 570. Jesus. Ugh. Damn it, Leonard. Oh, God. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, we're going to have like 20 HP. Do I have time? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm probably... Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know. Oh! What? It just disabled! Is... What? I can do that, too. No? No, I can't. Ow. Okay. Rude. Stupid. Dumb. Lame. Oh yeah, look, I finally got chat back on screen. Hey, get wrecked, Leonard. Right, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Bless. Bless. 
Okay, so basically if she starts glowing, we just book it. We just we just book it. We haul butt across the Oh Jesus. That happened a lot faster than I thought it was gonna happen. Okay, ha ha ha! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Stay away from me! Uh uh, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. No, you can't. <laughs> We're getting back up to a hundred slowly. We're gonna Volty Blaster again if she's still alive. This is the mo. Uh, no, you cannot block a Volty Blast. Yes! Suck it, Natalie! Ah! Get wrecked. Bless. I almost leveled up from that. Whew. Yeah, I get wrecked. Oh my god. I've been thinking about it for a while. Oh, Jack. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's I'll spare your life, but you have to do exactly as I say. Oh my god, Jack. Exactly as you say? Oh no. No, not that. Oh, Jesus. No, stop, you horrible monster! You beast! <laughs> This is funny. I see. I just assumed. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> Freaking yeah? Jack. Okay, fine. Have it your way. But if you don't want to beg for your life, Jack. You oh my god. Oh, you evil scoundrel. Sometimes my butt looks and feels cursed. Oh my god. Well, I'm waiting. Ew. Try to put more effort into it. Oh, Jack. Leave this. Oh, Lord Jack. Most great and powerful warrior. Please spare my life. Oh, my God. Nah, that's no good. Jack, you're wasting time. Like, oh, pretty, pretty, please. Try that. <laughs> your luck. Come on. I don't have all day. And don't forget to pose either. Jack. You are so dead. Anyway, I guess it's about time for you to hand over the fort. <sighs> Unfortunately, you wasted a whole lot of time. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be doing that. It's Leonard just what? face down on the floor. Captain, are you all right? Jack. Natalie, is the intruder in there? Oh my god. Uh oh. You fool. I was just playing along with your little fart to buy some time. Jack. Oh, darn. Every time he's about to learn something. The tables are turned now. How the turned have tables. Kidnapper. Captain Natalie! You! What do you think you're doing here? Oh, this looks bad. <laughs> he just books it. Don't let him get away. He just books it. Oh my god, bless Jack. <laughs> Flight elves? Hey! Even a human couldn't take down the fortress all by himself. Gil. Gil. Just Gil. He <laughs> I had such a crush on him as a child. Uh-huh. Yep, it looks like you really are trying to take on the entire fort. Well, well. It's not every day you see a human keeping his word. Gil. Gil. Uh, light elves? What are they doing here? They have Ridley. Is everyone in the <laughs> game stupid? Spot. Yes. Huh? Are you serious? Are you trying to start a war? Yes. <laughs> that was our plan from the beginning. Gil joins your party. Ro joins your party. Pit joins your party. I love them. Can I keep them? Forever? Forever and ever? 
All right, I finally have people. Oh, please. Oh, Jesus. What's happened? Okay. We're getting closer to a hundred. Wait! No, get away from me! No, get away from me! Oh God. Why? Hey, good job guys, I'm cool. Oh my God, why? Get away from me, dang it. Oh my god, I hate them so much. And she's got it again. I'm just... They just keep... They keep pulling up the link. And then immediately dying. Okay, alright, 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 uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ugh, this is so much healing, but I need to make sure I stay above 100, or 570. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Do I have Natalie? Okay, I do. Thank God. She's like the most dangerous out of all of them, and I genuinely am terrified. I should have. Oh god, I should have. Oh no, if we lose this, we have to do the whole thing again. Hey, oh, I think I killed her. I got her. Oh, sugar snap peas. Boosty. I don't know if the elves are actually. Kills level 34. Bless him, I can't wait to have him. Get wrecked. Yourself. Can't you see what you're doing? What I'm doing? You're, uh... You know you're with? You've turned against your own kind. I mean... Oh, God. No, I haven't. You kind of have, Jack. <laughs> I think it's finally hit him. Pull back. We have to defend the fort. Jack's an idiot. We're going to start the attack on the fort. You can go back to the City of Flowers. Go on, back to the city. Lord Zane is waiting for you. But they... Okay. I'm sorry to tell you this, Jack, but that's kind of what happened when you were like, I'll go take the fort! Egypt. <laughs> so you really came back. I guess we can let you in. Well, there we go. First human to go into the city of flowers. <laughs> he's just realized that he's betrayed his people. He's an idiot. Don't, you know, don't be too hard on him. He's like genuinely an idiot. I think this is kind of the turning point for Jack. Where he, A, realizes what he's done. And B, you know, kind of grows quite a bit from it. Here we are, guys! Look at this! It's the City of Flowers! Hey. Lord Zane's house is at the end of the path. You better hurry up. Alright, look. You can say end of the path. End of which path? Lord Zane's house is at the end of the path. Y'all, I swear to Jesus. Oh my god, I'm going, I'm going to like, punch all of you at once. Which path? Oh, is it this one? <laughs> it must be. Okay, but higher still. There we go. <laughs> well, well. You surprised me, Jack. I suppose that we can trust you from now on. 
Yeah, Jack, I'm sorry. I shall keep my word. I will spare the human girl. Jack, are you alright? Aw. What's wrong? Are you hurt? No, it's not that. Yeah, I just kind of realized that, uh... Uh-oh. What is it, Coco? What happened? What? L Lord Saifid? Are you sure of that? Uh-oh. I think that's a dragon. This is because I sent Gil and the others to the fort. Damn those humans. I mean, they acted pretty fast. It only took me a few minutes to get back here. We shall take that fort and crush them once and for all. I want all the elf forces sent to Fort Helencia now. Yes, my lord. The humans have killed Lord Saifid, the wind dragon. There will be consequences. Prepare yourselves for what is to come. We are literally... <laughs> he is doing the... Yeah, he is doing the right thing. But it's going to take Jack a little bit because he didn't exactly realize that he was starting a war. So you decided to come back empty-handed? What were you thinking? I'm very sorry, my lord. Oh, my lord. Gil. My boy. The humans have lost Fort Valencia. But on the other hand, we have managed to slay the wind dragon. Who cares about dragons? Yeah, Jasna's not really interested in that. You useless ninny. Oh dear. I am very, very, very sorry, Lord Jasna. Please forgive my carelessness. Very well. I will give you one more chance. Jesus. If only Jack knew what everybody thought of him. He'd be a whole lot happier to betray the human race. <laughs> He's like, kidnapped her? What are you talking about? I haven't kidnapped her. They think he literally kidnapped her. And God knows what Jasna is saying that Jack is doing to her. That's normal. <laughs> but also kind of adorable. It was just a dream. No, it wasn't, Jack. Huh? Where am I? Fort Helencia. <laughs> oh, right. Fort Helencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. And we're kind of on their side, Jack. Jack are you up? Look at Ridley! Look at this outfit! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of gone since yesterday. Look at her outfit. Can we yeah. just... It's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. Sometimes that's just so how it be. Changed. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah, but still, listen, we all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human beliefs. Elves have elven beliefs. I have mine. And Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you. That's my mission. <laughs> I guess. Oh my god, Jack, bless. If that's true, then I'm very grateful. Bless. Ridley. Bless this yes. child. There you go, Jack. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Bless! Bless! You said something about a meeting? I think I'll have to check that out. Ooh, we love it. You, uh, just, just, I love it. I'm sorry. Bless. <laughs> Jasmine. <laughs> yeah, it's a hat. It's a dumb hat, but it's a hat. Well, it's not. I guess it's not dumb. Because we have the hats like that. In it looks dumb on Jasna. Be patient. We're waiting for the guest of honor. Oh my god, wait. Is it I think I remember who this is. Give a speech? No. <laughs> Ridley! She's like, oh my god, I'm in love with an idiot. You weren't so keen on the war yesterday. 
Humans change like the weather. And there he is. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Bless. Huh? It's the geezer with the funny money. <laughs> Hello. Is that the young laddie I met in town? Oh, bless. Totally kicking Ridley. Parsec and the boy know each other? <laughs> Ridley. Lord Parsec, we should be starting a meeting now. Y'all should be uh, kind of guessing what I, I reckon we should. what Parsec is. <laughs> Jack. Who wants this? A human girl? <laughs> it's just no question about Jack. This is the girl who received the transpiration from my brother. That I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Ho, 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 ho. What a delightful young lady. <laughs> Parsec the fire dragon at your service. Oh, I love him. What? The old guy's the fire dragon? Yep. <laughs> no one's surprised. <laughs> They're all just used to him now. Even Zane. <laughs> the fate of all fairies. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Sather was a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. Apparently so. How it works? No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The cosmic order. Yes, that's right. The wind dragon guards the elves. The water dragon guards the orcs. The earth dragon guards the dwarves. And as the fire dragon, I am responsible for guarding the goblins. Explains a lot. Wait, but what about us humans? We don't get anything. Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the twin dragons. Oh boy. We are vessels? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon, and the silver dragon. I see why this was one of my favorite games. <laughs> Just as night follows day, and day follows night, so the twin dragons each take their turn as guardians. I show on my lip a lot. I shouldn't do that. I look funny. One or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, you're as sharp-minded as you are, Charmin. <laughs> okay. So which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the silver dragon. But the time of the gold dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. Oh dear. The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans too? Well. As long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. Oh dear. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Yep, so they're good. Hey, that sucks. What kind of system is that? <coughs> oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. <laughs> of course, humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. How about the bronze dragon? No, there's none of that. <laughs> That has nothing to do with it. What do you mean? <laughs> Freaking Zane. The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogera has been killed. 
But no one knows when Quasar the Gold Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there will. Oh boy. In the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, I'll wink. Do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yeah, I get it. I know what the old guy's trying to say. I doubt it. <laughs> See? The way I figure, the silver dragon and gold dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the gold dragon is going to wake up. Just like no one knows when they're going to die. His one moment of brilliance. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. <laughs> I think the little laddie gets it. <laughs> Bless. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans. Is it not? Zane. I reckon that's right, too. However, there is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And what is that? I think that Ophelia, the silver dragon, may be up to something. Mm-hmm. Ophelion's that guy you, you were think? looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. And he's controlling the oh, he found him from within Radiata Castle. Oh boy! What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle. Something tells me that he doesn't exactly want to go to sleep. Well, isn't that convenient? Then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I drop by and pay him a visit. You're the last you dragon. The Could you not? But my lord, think of the danger. Yeah, seriously. Oh, no. I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Bless. Very well. Third place gets no respect. <laughs> Working to fulfill our own conviction. There you go, Zane. Right. <clears throat> you do that then. Hey, old guy, I've got a question. <laughs> Jack. What would that be? My father, well, he killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? <laughs> huh? What did he say? So then, you must be Cairn's son. Oh, surprise. Uh oh, Gil looks unhappy. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. Bless. <laughs> if you put it that way. <laughs> Jack, I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Oh boy. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? We've been there before, Jack. Goblin Haven. It's the Black Goblin Village. I think. Course. I think we've been there. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? We're getting help. Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. <laughs> well, how about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. <laughs> no doubt about it. She's a real charmer. <laughs> you know, old guy, you could try acting more dragon like. Jack, watch your tongue. He's been calling him old guy this whole time, and that's what makes you mad? Very well. Coco. Coco. Just chilling. I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord. Well. This is the part where we're a little screwed because we have absolutely no teammates. Ridley joins your party. Greetings. Goblin Haven is deep within the Sadish region. Travel west from Noam. Okay. <laughs> 
I always forget that I, I can't, I really shouldn't be speeding up text in this game because it just kind of flies ahead of you. <gasps> Dwarves! This is dusty work it is. I don't know what that accent was. I uh, forgot how this game works. I need to keep talking to him. Come back. Wait. Hang on. Dwarf. Achoo! Oh god, don't kick him. Achoo! Dang it. I like I says that. Will you guys be my friends? I'm grateful you sided with us non-humans. But are you sure you made the right choice? No. <laughs> Can you wield your sword against friends and colleagues? I couldn't do that. Jack has one mission now, and that's to protect Ridley. That's legit it. And that's all that matters to him. I train even when I should be getting sleep. Don't I deserve a drink? I hope this ends soon. Maybe you can end it by attacking the human town. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, that's that. Glory axe? I beg your pardon. How does that work? 63. You don't say. That is actually my strongest weapon at this point. Um. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to go w perfectly. Actually, you know what? I should I should keep using Leviathan if just to try to master the spear. I really like the spears, so, you know. Uh, no. Let's save, please. Whew. We might be able to find some armor around here and some weapons. I've just got to figure out what the map is. Hi. Oh, no more. Hi. I'm alright. France has to become stronger. Dang it. Vladimir. Evil Blade. St Look at the. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Aleph Strain. Look at that. The defense is 87. Oh, bless. <gasps> this lance does 80. Oh, I'm gonna have a, such a hard time. Hey, look, it's the Rune Saber. We got Stormbringer over here with friggin' 104. Aw, oh, man. Can I... Oops. Okay. Not that. I want to see... I should... I can sell this. We'll keep the steel blade. This umbrella has absolutely no reason to exist in my inventory. I think. <laughs> and that's all I really want to sell. I think he's weapons only. What is an evil blade? Additional curse. There's no one here that the dwarves own no ore. Maybe there never was, or maybe it's all been mined out. Doesn't matter. It's no good if a blacksmith can't work at his forge. All I can do is melt down the old weapons and reuse their material. Hmm. Oh boy. Who should I choose? Uh, no one. I'm sorry to tell you this, Jack, but we don't have anyone. Wait, no! Oh! Friends, come here! My legs feel like lead. But I have to keep training. Hi. Dang it, friends. Join my party. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in here. I need... I desperately need party members. <laughs> uh, it's just me and Ridley. We'll be fine. Ish. It's just, uh, you know... It. Oh, hello. But I've been planning on opening up shop here for ages. You liar. I was planning this before you. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Hey, you. Who do you think first came up with the idea? Uh oh What? Um, I don't really know what you're talking about. I just heard a little of your conversation, so don't ask me. He has a point. 
Well, say you're a customer. Who do you think is fit to be a shop owner? Well, uh-oh, well? Um, I think you need to get more than one opinion for this. Then you get more opinions and report back to us. What? Why me? Why not? You're the one who brought it up. Look, I don't think... You're not going to say no, are you? Whoa, talk about pressure. Ugh, <sighs> fine, fine. <laughs> I don't know if he just does this on his own. Okay. I told them I'd do it, but who should I start with? I know, I'll ask Lord Zane. Elves know themselves the best, but Lord Zane's a light elf. Alright, hang on. I need to look this up real quick, because I'm sure there's something that I can mess up here. Which elf shop? Radiata Stories, which elf are you? Okay, I, I, look, I found a guide and it said, in the back, you'll fight Natalie and Leonard. And then I thought it said, these knights are pushovers. And I was like, uh, no. Um. Well, that didn't give me any answers, so you need help. Jack and Ridley have the power of love. Yeah. Oh, whoops. That wasn't who I thought I was talking to, but you know. Oh, what? I made a list of friends you can consider for your party. It's on the table. If you want to go someplace, it's always safer to have other friends. I don't have friends. Friends is Jack's friend, right? Friends would be very happy to join you. Okay, join me. No one, Jack. We don't. We don't have any friends. Hi. Dang it, friends! <laughs> ba -ba. Oops, that's my room. I like how I get a room even in Fort Helencia. We dug and dug and dug all the way to Fort Helencia. My arms are as thick as tree trunks now. Hey. If you want to see how strong we dwarves are, why don't you go see our tunnel? The entrance is near Tria Village. Hey. Hmm. Ba, ba, ba. <sighs> what exactly would you like me to do? Couldn't you, like, talk to them and calm them down? I thought you were the one who promised them. If you promise, you must keep your word. Or are you saying that humans can't keep promises? Ugh! What have I gotten myself into? Alright, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Wait. For this kind of problem, I think it's best you ask a shop owner for advice. Not an elf, but a dwarf shop owner. Why not ask Vladimir? Oh, Zane. All right, look, Jack, thank you. <laughs> I was moving the control stick and he just wasn't having it. He's like, nope, I refuse. Hey, uh, Vlad. <laughs> That's Vladimir. So you want to know if Keens or, or you want to know if Keens or Marsha's shop is better? I don't really care whose is better. That's not the answer I need. Can you please pick one? Hmm, I would have to say Keen. She is the original supply. If she opens up shop, the variety of merchandise will be spectacular. Okay. That is just my personal opinion. You should ask a dark elf about Marsha. Hmm, why not ask Clarence? Oh boy. At this point, I think it's I think what we're just gonna wind up saying is both of you open a shop and shut up. Hey Clarence. Between Keen and Marsha, definitely not Keen. Her original supply route is amazing, but her prices are too high. She's a little too attached to money. In that sense, Marsha thinks of her customers first. Her prices are reasonable and fair. Okay, what's wrong? So which is better? Hmm, I can't really say. I know, you should ask Lord Zane. He's in charge of the fort, so he would be the guy to talk to. They would have to get his permission anyway. Back to Lord Zane. I'm going in circles. <laughs> We're going to get back and they're going to be like, we decided to work together. 
<laughs> this isn't where Lord Zane is. I keep doing this. I keep thinking that's where he is, and it's not. <sighs> have you come to a decision? No, I have two separate opinions and don't know what to do. Hmm, Keen has a wide selection. Marsha has reasonable prices. Why do we have to choose only one? What? They should both open shop. There will be two stores, and the customers can go to whichever they like. Wow, that would solve everything! <laughs> there is plenty of space for both shops. It would be better for their businesses if they had some competition. Capitalism! <laughs> this is something I've learned from humans. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's something really funny about, like, a light elf learning about capitalism. <laughs> this is just padding out the game. I mean, to be fair, it is very in character. Like, this is very Radiata stories. Both of us? Each open shop? Yeah, there's no rule saying you can't, right? You two can open your own stores and each do business in your own way. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Marsha, let's fight it out. Sure, but I don't plan on losing to you. Me neither. <sighs> Another problem solved. Boy, I'm beat. And <laughs> Jack. The good news is we do actually unlock a couple of shops from this. So, you know. Worth it. Of course, though, they're not here. So, why would they be? Because I, I need to sleep, isn't it? It's because it's nighttime. <sighs> Where am I? Coco! Are you ready? Y no? Alright. Goblin ha Haven is pretty far. You should prepare for your trip. I would if they would wake up. I need a shop where I can buy items. Wait, can I add you? Oh, hello. Ba -da 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 -da. What? Hi ya! Ya! Ah! Oh god. Um, what are you trying to do? Just testing my strength? Ow. Testing your strength, huh? I think you'd have a hard time killing a fly. What? Are you making fun of me? Everyone at the fort tells me I look really strong. Um, I think they're being polite, so you won't feel bad. <laughs> Jack! Hm. Well, I'll show you what my training has taught me. But why do you want to fight? Do you know Gil? He's a light elf. Yeah? The light elf hero. I want to be just like him. So what do you say? Do you think I could take him on? What? No way. I'd give you two seconds if that. I'm not saying you're weak. You just need more training. I've had lots of training. I'll show you when I fight him. Don't you want to watch our legendary battle? Radiata stories friends Do, 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 do. I have no idea how to gain friends. Dang it. Here we go. Alright, talk to him. It literally just says, talk to him. Yes. Well, maybe a little. Though not for the reasons you think. What did you say? Um, nothing. You want this kid in your party? I need teammates. <laughs> huh? Now? Oh my god, this kid's gonna get his butt handed to him. I want Gil, is what I really want. So that's the story. Will you please fight him? If you don't, he'll keep pestering me and pestering me. I know it'll be a quick battle. Just a couple of seconds. 
Sure, why not? Thanks. Hey, he said he'll do it. N may the best man win. Don't be so tense. Relax a little. Okay, this is a battle. Okay, this is a battle to determine who is stronger. Ready? Go. Yeah! Oh my god, Gil. Was this what you wanted? Y yeah. <laughs> oh god, my training was useless? Don't be upset. The important thing is to keep trying. If you lose today, train so you can win tomorrow. No one is strong from the beginning. Daily practice is the key. Ugh, does that mean we can fight again sometime? Of course. All right. The enthusiasm of the young. Come on, let's go. Let's run towards the sunset. Okay. The sunset. At least I'll get some peace now. What? I'm gonna cry. Let's run toward the sunset. But couldn't they have kept this place a little neater? Oh my god. I don't know what I expected, but like, that really wasn't it. I don't know. I think that was just a random cutscene. I think I just unlocked something. Is there- is that a fairy pig in the lantern? Apparently so. Apparently it is. It's also what that squeaking sound is. Like the wee wee wee. Oh my god, why? Hello, how are you doing, lady? Um, are you drunk? I'm not drunk. I just feel really chipper. You are drunk. Anyway, I need to ask you a tiny little favor. You're drunk. Are you gonna make any sense? I want to hand out the most fabulous beer to everyone in the fort, but it hasn't come yet. Ah, you scared me. You don't have to yell. Maybe it came and you drank it all. I can't believe the most fabulous beer hasn't been delivered. Now he's crying. Give me a break. It's so sad. Everything is ready. But it's meaningless if the beer isn't here. <sighs> I want to drink the beer, too. I thought it was for everyone else. So, young Ledio, will you go visit Vladimir? Please ask him for the beer, okay? Alright. <laughs> alright? I mean, alright? I just have to ask him to deliver it, right? Oh, I knew I could count on you. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head on over to Vladimir's. These are basically our side missions. Um, hello? Hi. Since I'm going to guard this place, I might as well keep training. We can't afford to waste time. Hi. I wonder when the humans will attack. Will it be today? Hi. Dang it. I can't make friends. I'm, like, desperately trying to see if I can make some friends in this place. Like, that's why I'm kind of, you know, doing all of this. Gregory wants you to deliver the beer he ordered. Huh? I don't remember taking that order. I'm not a beer store, but he was rambling on about the most fabulous beer in the world. Hmm, Naum was saying the same thing when we were drinking yesterday. Gregory was there as well. I think he was drunk and got his facts wrong. Why don't you go to Naum and ask him? Who's Naum? Is this Naum? Uh, hang on. Naum? That's Divad. There's no one here that the dwarves... Maybe there never was. Oh, yeah. This is just talking about the ore. Um, Naum? Do -do 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 -do. The most fabulous beer? That story again. Tell Gregory he needs to get a steady job and work like everyone else. Okay, I will. I don't know what good that'll do, though. Well, yes, his veins are filled with liquor. So, do you have what he's looking for? No, I don't. When we were drinking last night, I told him about this tasty beer I drank years and years ago. You should have seen him drooling into his beard. So does anyone have any? Devad the blacksmith has some, unless he's already drank it all. It's a very rare beer he received from his master. Why don't you ask Devad yourself? Oh boy. <laughs> We're on a quest! A quest for beer! Hi. Oh, did you find some booze? Not yet. Oh wait, whoops. <laughs> what? Oh. It's a new day. <sighs> wow. 
What? Beer? Who did you hear that from? Um, from Grigory, then Vladimir, then Naum, and now I'm here. When it comes to beer, they all have a keen nose. Grig Gregory says he wants to treat everyone at the fort to this great beer. Although, I think he just wants to drink it himself. Well, alright. I think the master would agree that this is as good a time as any. Obtained dwarf beer. Finally! I'd better deliver this to Grigory. He's just gonna drink it all. He's not gonna share it with anybody. <laughs> and that's how I found it. You'd better not drink it all by yourself. <laughs> I know, I know. Let's see, that's why I don't do this. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Here's a little something. Hey, I got money out of this one. Come on, all is time to get drunk. I didn't read the rest of that, but... Oh, I just saw lightning outside. I don't believe we have a storm warning for tonight, but... They're still not here. I would have liked to buy some more items. I do kind of need those. Oh, here we go. Welcome. Bye. Thanks, Grigory. You paid for my, uh, you paid for all of that. Alright, that'll do. See, there was literally two spaces for shops. Dwarves stopped drinking beer. Would they lose their beards? <laughs> They'd only have dzz. DS. Yep. I mean, I don't see any storm warnings, so I'm pretty sure we're good. Yeah, let's just go. Goblin Haven is in the Sadish region. Sadichi. I saw lightning again. Sam's probably losing his marbles. Coco. I don't trust humans. None of them. You're better than most, though. As long as dwarves still live in this world, I'll help you. I'll help you protect... <gasps> Hey, we got Gregory. Bless. Night Edge. Yeah. Hi, Gail. Are humans interested in poetry? Will you fight me? I will do anything to help you if you win. Sure. Fingers crossed because we get him if we win. Jesus! Oh, God. I'm scared. I don't know how hard he's going to hit if he hits me. The answer is really hard. All right, we're gonna use we're gonna use tactics. We're gonna use tactics for this. All right. Like I said, we're going to use tactics for this. I don't know how much health he has. Oh, God. I want Gil, though. Like, if we have Gil, we're pretty much set. Eh, we can win. I've won stupider battles. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I want to stay above middle. Oh, come on. For this, for tactics to work, I can't miss, Jack. It's fine, I got this. This is gonna take forever, but we got this. Yeah, keep doing that, actually. That was great. I haven't heard any thunder, but these are noise canceling, so I'm sorry if you get dizzy, by the way. Tactics! Look, it's working. That's all that matters. Ow. I got him. If we get to 100, I can Volty Blast him. Ow. Get away from me. I want to bring him over here because I can't really get behind him. Boop. 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 
might take some time. I hope you enjoy this music and Jack going, hey! <laughs> We're doing great. I've got him figured out. The cage boy. Yeah, exactly. You know what? It's all that it's all all that matters is that we win and we get Gil. Woo! Ow. I don't even remember if because we didn't really get to explore the city of flowers all that much. I wonder if we go. Oh jeez. He's just slowly bringing my health down. You know, if this is our strategy, it would actually behoove me to equip something a little stronger, even. Although, this is an axe. It's going to be slower. I don't, I genuinely do not know if this is going to be a good idea. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. It's a bit slow. We do what we must. Come on, Gil. <gasps> Ooh, that was so close. I have an itchy nose. I have an itchy nose, ow. Stop it, Gil. <laughs> I might need to equip something that's not this. This is a bit too slow for him. What about this sword? 12? All right, my strongest weapon is the rune saber. Maybe I can petrify him. Like that would kind of work out really well. Although I just remembered, they won't need to cut the grass in a long time. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Huh. I did not buy the one that gives me two-handed skills. Oops. I'll take it. A win is a win. I got Gil. That's all that matters. We're officially not going to die. Promise is a promise. I will help you. I can feel another poem growing inside my heart. Good for you. Why don't you write a poem about my heroic escapades? I think I will. I will write a poem of all that will happen in your future. Aw, bless Gil. I love him. He's so, like, he could have insulted Jack. And he didn't. Most would. Wait, is it going to be a bat? It's going to make fun of me, isn't it? <laughs> All right, well. Oh my god, we have Coco in the party. I mean, it's it's not like I was planning on really sticking with uh, Grigory, who's level 8. Oh, good. <laughs> That's fine. We have Coco, and we have a full party. I got Gil. We're set. We're golden. I'm just happy that tactics worked. <laughs> huh? It's not working. Aw, <laughs> man. Why? Not the button I wanted. Oh, okay. This is not some place that we've been before. Uh, yes? No. Yep. This way. <laughs> I'm just gonna bye. <laughs> they chillin'. <sighs> I didn't even think there was anything over in this direction, but you know, just goes to show. Not the best memory in the world. Oh, come on. Hang on. Let me just... <laughs> I 
Uh, here we go. Can only be like 90% roast. Uh, yeah. There'd be one hell of a poem. I bet we could stop by the Dark Elf Kingdom and get quite a few peeps. No! Oh, we've been ambushed. I'm not... No! Oh, God. Thank you. Look at that. Perfection. Friggin' Gil. Pure perfection. I should have got that item that uh, makes it so that I can't be, uh, oops, ambushed. Oh god, why? I ran straight into it like a numpty. I want to bring, I want to put the, uh, the spear back. The spear is my real favorite. We just have, like, a really solid, uh, um, yeah, I don't see the... <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I know how to use those. I genuinely don't know how to use any of the others. Yes. We want to head down, so I think we go this way. Oop. I hit a snake. You know what? This is fine. Got it! Ooh, Ridley got an upgrade to her axe. Hmm? Coco, what are you doing traveling with humans? Hey, how you doing? Lord Zane told me to take them to the Goblin Haven. Yeah? Okay, then you be careful. Huh? If Lord Zane said it was okay, then I guess you can pass. Huh? Do you want to be my friend? We're not going to always have Ridley, so like, I mean... Okay. Well, well, we'll slow it down because we're entering a new area. Where did you hear the word numpty? I don't remember that's an old one I don't know where I've heard that ouch I genuinely don't remember oh good we've we've found an area with monsters that are actually quite difficult to uh, kill Just gonna lower that a smidge as much as I love listening to Jack go, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Top volume Jack doing that is, uh, hey, there we go. I feel like I vaguely remember me not being able to figure that out. Oh, I was gonna try and kick that, but oops. Ow. I'm fine. Jack. Humans are weak. Gil, I don't, don't you just hate war, he says. Oh, whoa, who fell over now, Gil? Who fell over now? Wow, look at Ridley go. I think she's really uh, coming to her own here. I think we'd have to fight Ridley if we were on the other side. I thought it was Scottish slaying my parents. It could very well be, and I just heard it from something. I always took it to mean idiot, so if it doesn't mean that, or, you know, like a numpty, like an empty head almost. It probably is Scottish slang, and I picked it up from something. When I was younger. Get him, Gil! Can I keep Coco? Because I can work with this. These are not bad experience points that we're getting. I'm just saying. Stop wandering around, Jack. You'll get me in trouble with... I don't know where I'm going! 
Do I look like I know where I'm going, small child? Castle Zathor, hi! <laughs> he kicks everything. Everything in this game is done by kicking. I feel like this is just gonna take me toward... Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Oh god, it all branches. Okay, not apparently not the way it's supposed to go. Alright, cool. Nifty. Let's go this way then. <laughs> Come here. I need experience points. The more level ups we have, the, the better we'll survive when we do the stupid ca optional castle later. The optional castle is pretty cool. It's also just good to do because it's really, really hard. And if we can succeed it, we'll be really ready for the final boss. Great place to level grind. Because the final area is rough. Like, half the difficulty of the final area is just, like, making it to the end. And not having all, like, I think there's, like, no healing areas. Combo attack, boosty, I'll take it. Did I, I re-equipped the spear one, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. I just really like my current combo. <laughs> just kick, you know. Oh, hey. No, all right, cool. It's fine. It's not, oh, what? And why am I ambushed? Uh, help, help, thank you, they got it, ah, oh, Gil, perfection, pure perfection, oop, what am I doing, oh, I think we're in the haven, we're in the village, oh my god, Jack, he meant literally. That's the smell of fried toadstools. The black goblins are always eating them and making themselves sick. Why? The toadstools are all they eat. The goblins get so sick that they never do anything else. <laughs> never do anything, huh? Kind of like Clive, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, Jack. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Fort Valencia. I really hate the stench. Well, gee, thanks, okay. Coco. Thanks. Appreach. I really appreciate. We can try to go around and get... Coco leaves your party. Thanks, Coco. <gasps> That's not what I wanted. You want toadstool? Toadstools is very yummy. Well, you have King's Toadstool? King's Toadstool? Nope, sorry. Never heard of that before. Oh, never mind. Well, okay, so I we get that guy by having a King's Toadstool. Wherever that is. We, there we go. Okay, we're doing all right, I think. What? Human belong in human town. You here, me not happy. You have ugly weapon. Two-handed sword are cool weapon. I mean, show me your sword, huh? This. This our ugly sword. This our poo compared to my sword. What? We'll see about that. Okay, but fight is useless. Me know me will win. <laughs> I think this is how I'm gonna get a friend. Ow. Ah, oh, right. I have a. I was trying to do a volty blast and then forgot that I have a double sword, a two-handed sword equipped. Easy as pie. Yes, indeed, Jack, my boy. My groovy toadstool. <laughs> groovy? Don't get so down on yourself. I was probably just lucky. Yes, you was lucky. Toadstool sword are best. But me are not good enough to use sword. Maybe. Me will go on journey to find great warrior who deserves sword. You go with me on journey. What? Hey, I got Giorgio. Georgie. Welcome, Georgie. Better ugly weapon than ugly face. 
A human visitor. Rare. Very rare indeed. Worlds are not made of good and evil. Worlds are made of winners and losers. <laughs> I don't know if that's better. Toadstool are black goblin treasure. No toadstool for humans. Okay, that's it. Wait, I want to talk to you. But I can friend you. You is human. Me is secret. What? Lots and lots of toadstools. Many, many, many. It are raining toadstools. Woohoo! Is he, is he high? Yeah, he high. He's high. He's high. No big deal. <laughs> Alright, I want to equip my spirit place. <laughs> oh, I guess this was the way I was supposed to go. We're going to meet one of the best characters. Oh, he coming. He coming. There he is. We've heard his name several times. <laughs> Oh, Jack. Your name. Give me your name first. I'm Jack. Jack Russell. Jack Russell? Yep. Hmm. You're quick on your feet. Damn right. Now tell us, who are you? What are you doing jumping out on people like that? All right, son of Cairn. My name is Gawain. Gawain Rothschild. You're Sir Gawain? Oh boy. Gawain. You're the one. Oh boy. You're the one who killed my father. Yep. Get your weapon ready, Gawain. It's time to avenge my father. Oh boy. Jack. Hmm. Gawain, you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> Stop, Jack. You can't possibly beat him. I can try. Sorry, Ridley. This guy has to pay for what he did. It's time. Here I come. Bless. Well, I don't remember if I'm supposed to win this, so... What I could do... Just to, you know... There we go. The hard part about... I remember doing this. I used to hit square and not square X. Which means I would do a volty hit. Uh, a volty blow. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, could you not? Could you not? Could you not? Alright. I don't know if I can, I'm supposed to win this because this is, oh god, ow. Oh, no, 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 buzz off. You buzz off! Oh, okay. I don't think I'm gonna survive this. I don't think I'm supposed to survive this. No. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's twice my health. I'm not supposed to survive this. Get wrecked, Jack. Jack. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's just been knocked out. That's all. Sir Gawain. So you were alive all this time. Have you been eating toadstools? Oh, yes, and living in disgrace, wandering the world, never in one place for long. Does he look familiar, what my friends? Uh, excuse my rudeness. My name is Ridley Silverlake. The Silver Lakes of the Great Eagle of the North? Yes, sir. However, I recently left the family and decided to join the Light Elves. I've heard that there is war brewing between the humans and non-humans. Does that have anything to do with it? Partly. A transpiritation ritual was performed on me. There is a soul of an elf inside me. You, you received a transpiration? Yep. I can't help feeling that my destiny is somehow closely connected to this war. Ah, yes. Destiny. Yes. But 
what about you? You were the crest of the lion of the West, but then you left your country, and now you turn up in this place. It's a good thing Jack's not awake, because this conversation would not be happening. I lost everything that I'd ever owned. Lost everything? Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, Jack. Right. You're pretty strong, Gawain. But unfortunately for you, I'm not finished yet. Idiot. Jack, enough. The fight is over. I don't think so. I was just getting warmed up. Oh, Jack. He has a fierce spirit. He reminds me of his father. You can fight me as many times as you want, but you won't beat me. Don't tell me we're doing this again. I think, I think we're, I think this is, yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. If you not believe in any gods, you should worship me. Me are close its existence to gods. You should worship me. God's is always watching you. Huh? Voice from nowhere? Where? Where? Where our voice? Oh, his hat is over his eyes. You know King's Toadstool? You have? You love? King's Toadstool? I don't know what it is, and I don't have any either. Go to Borgandiazzo. Bring me Toadstool. Borgandiazzo. You follow good smell? Give me something and you can taste. Huh? Why? Why awful? You taste. Huh? Seriously? Oh god, he tasted it. What is it? It awful. There three death clover larvae needed to finish soup. You bring me this and you can drink good soup. How, do, how am I talking to this person from all the way over there? What's a death clover? Flying bugs outside. Larvae is round and big. Larvae lies very still. Me need three. Come on, body, body, uppercut, uppercut. Huh? What? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm fighting this person. Oh, this is... <laughs> I can't believe I was worried. I love how my face is actually on top of their faces. That's great. Hee <laughs> hee, opponent are freaking out. What? Do I really have to fight him again? Jack, about Sir Gawain. Ridley, don't try to talk me out of it. I have to fight the guy. Jack. Damn. Gawain, I want another fight. Right. Come and get it, Jack. I'll fight you as often as you want. Jack. We're gonna lose again. All right, look, this is just silly. I'm just, I'm not even, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's fine, we're good. I don't think I'm supposed to win. I'm, nothing has changed, Jack. Is that all you've got, son of Cairn? Damn it. You can come at me as many times as you want. I'm not running or hiding. Jack. Wait, I wanted to fight. Okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to win this? I can't win this. All it takes is literally just Gawain pulling out his his super. If he pulls that out, I literally can't win this. Yeah, I know. I know our attacks just bounce off, Jack. We can't win this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack, but when that's strong enough, is that all you've got? You have got to be joking me. Am I genuinely supposed to win this? Like, look, I don't have enough health for this. Hang on, th this can't be right. Radiata stories, fighting, Gawain. Um, I 
Oh. Apparently he's supposed to be much easier to beat. So I'm just an idiot. Alright, cool. 10 out of 10. I can beat him. Apparently. Alright, come on. There we go. I figured it out. Dang it. Gwen. Oh my god, go in. Oh, I beat him. Sweet mercy. Not even worth my time. Jack, don't lie. We barely won that. Oh, he didn't. Oh, wow, I smacked him. After six tries. Jack. Avenge your father. I don't want to kill you. You didn't really kill my father, did you? Ah, oh, bless. Tell me, Gawain. Tell me what happened to my father. It's been a long time. He's holding fat. You tired him out. <laughs> Can we let him sit up first? There they are. By the fairy creatures, and in the city of flowers, we were allowed to come and go as we pleased. Oh. Even the elf elders, Lord Zane, treated us as his friends. But then he got Algandars. I think the water dragon suddenly appeared. Those who knew the old legends trembled in fear. But the dragon had come to protect the cosmic order. It attacked the humans out of necessity, not hate. Cairn knew this as well as any of us. But he shrugged off all my warnings. Cairn struck down the water dragon. To save his fellow humans. Because of that, the element became unbalanced within him. He there we go. Infected by the Algandar's disease. Yep. In order to protect the Order of Totaus, Zane sent out assassins. That sure does look like Gil. Death. No matter what Zane's personal feelings were, he was forced to act. The elves' dragon. destroyed your family and I'm the one who stole your father from you Aww. soon after that I left the kingdom and abandoned my family I had helped murder a father and a husband I could only pay for my crime by throwing away what I had you're a real idiot aren't you bless 
Idiot. Bless. Mom was as cheerful as ever until the day she died. After that, Sis and I lived together. And my father never really died. He was always alive. Right in here. And now, look at me. More friends than I can handle. Bless this sweet summer child. The captain, your son, he never left your heart. Now, <laughs> Jack knew this whole time. <laughs> Jack fucking knew and he didn't care. Oh my god. Jack knew this whole time and he didn't care. All that stuff about getting revenge for my father. Jack. Okay, I guess we're all square then. Even Stevens, right? Bless. <laughs> Even Stevens, it is. Sweet summer child. Hey, of course. Ridley, I've got it. This is why we were supposed to come here. What do you mean? I figured out why Parsec sent us out here. He wanted us to meet this guy. <laughs> this guy. The fire dragon, Parsec? Yeah. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. We used to be old drinking buddies. I guess you won't mind me asking, then. Me and Ridley are going to join the war against the humans. Why don't you join us in the fairy future? Cha la la. <laughs> Jack, don't be a fool. Go, Wayne. But think about it. This old guy can really fight. It'd be a waste if he stayed here at a time like this. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> the young lad is right, he is. Bless. The death of the dragons. The war with the non-humans. It's all part of my destiny, I think. <laughs> yeah? So does that mean you'll come with us to Fort Helencia? I've turned my back on my destiny for too many years now. I'd say it's high time that I faced it. Come on, to Fort Valencia. All right, now you're talking. Destiny, huh? Hey, Ridley, let's go already. Yeah. Good old Ridley. Good old Jack. Just makes friends with everybody. Hey, we got Gawain in our party. Why is this? What? I, help you? I have quite a collection of books, all of which I've read. Oh, hey, I know what those are for. <laughs> I was like, what? I already know this. Learn command goblin song. The effect? Play dead. Earthquake. Black magic song to absorb. Ooh, I like that one. Be bait. Back away. Toadstool. Ooh, hello. That's that's very useful. Schisms. Crush song to cure parties petrification. Very useful. Okay. It's a well-read goblin. Just waiting for him to say cock a doodle doo. <laughs> I think these ones that say like effect question mark question mark, those ones are like if you have a specific character in your party, like if we have a goblin in our party, it'll do something. The beautiful thing about Gil is that he's level 34. Why is you here? Goblin ancestors sleep here. Me are lonely. Me talk to no one today. Can you talk to me? <laughs> the statue's sure familiar, isn't it? Let's go this way. We might be able to, uh... Hello. Humans is inferior. Black goblins is very strong. Strongest than humans, you think? I'm human, but I don't think you'd have a chance against me. Ah! You make me mad! Me will makes you cry! Bring it on! It's probably fine. 
I love this sword because it's oh god all right surprisingly oh my god ah finally I think I need something with a longer reach I was gonna say I love this sword because that petrification happens fairly like there we go just wail on him wailing on him may he can't hit me boom kept a list of everything you kick and <laughs> that would be pretty great 61 he was doing quite a lot of damage can I keep him Warm-up timer over. Now for 80% of power. Ha! Wow, you can transform. I am concerned. I've learned. I've learned. Wail on him. That's all it takes. Just wail on him. Ow, ow, ow. He did more damage, but he only hit me once, so it works. I love spears. I think this game is, like, one of the very rare games where I genuinely like spears. You is strong, but now for... Oh, God. Hyper Goblin, there's more. Oh, okay. The strategy remains. Oh god, the camera's wigging out. <laughs> Excellent. I'll take it. <laughs> you cheat. You is human. You is trash. How is you stronger than Hyper Goblin? Me no. You is strongest of all humans. Not really. I know some people who are a lot stronger than I am. What? Really? Me think you as strongest human. From now, me be your master. Me make you stronger. Um. <laughs> hey, we got Pietro. I'll take it. <laughs> like, excellent. You know what? I'll sign up for that. <laughs> All right. We got some goblins. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get. We're getting party members, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Closest thing to God. I <laughs> tried to kick the wolf. I was like, I mean... Oh, wow. We're all just glowing all the colors of the rainbow. Nice. There we go. Do, 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 do. How big can the party get? This is pretty much at most what we can have. Uh, we can only get four people in the party, but the more options I have, the better, because I'm not 100%. Oh, I wonder if this is what Popo was talking about. It's huge, and it stings. Oh. I got it. Oh, geez. <laughs> Might be able to get Pulpo. You know, I just, it's sort of like a gotta catch them all situation. I just want to get all of them now. Oh, yeah. With like Gawain and Guild. Oh, God. Gawain's 53. There's no way I can keep him in my party. He's way above where I'm at. That would just be unfair, to say the least. I saw a bunch of those little caterpillar things. So I'm thinking, I think maybe even over here. Jack, there's one right there. <laughs> ah, dang it. I'm trying to see if I can get another character, because why not? 
Currently, the only one that we can count on for any kind of stability is literally Gil. Nice. Ridley, we're going to lose, and I'm 90% positive that we're not going to keep Gawain. So, depending on the level of everyone that we got... Ooh, a tack link. That one sounds fun. Oh, hello. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. There... It's right there. That's literally what I need. I need two more. Hey. I can go talk to Pop Leo and see if this somehow constitutes as three. What? Luca, teach me. Black Goblin Beliefs. Black Goblin Beliefs is best. Everyone's and me happy. I think he said. My cooking are fabulous. I think I need to wait for him to sit up. <laughs> I'm go outside and try and look for more of those things. I definitely got Gil faster than I usually do. When I played this when I was younger, I could not beat Gil for the life of me. So I had to wait. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. I'll take Gil. As early as I can get. We are pretty solid with Gil in the party. What we need, though, is a healer. We don't have one. 90% of why we were able to succeed throughout the first half of the game, despite not having a great party, is, like, almost entirely because we had a healer in the party. Okay, let's see. Uh, can I have some more of these caterpillar things, please? I could also teleport back. I'm just... I'm taking time because I'm trying to see if I can get, you know... Did someone heal me or did I level up? Oh, I, yeah, I leveled up. That's right. Ow. Oi, Gil. Quiet in the peanut gallery. I wonder if he's learned all of the abilities for the spear. No, he has not. So I've got some reasons to just keep running around murdering things. Where does this take me? What? Okay. <laughs> Wait, I didn't go this way last time. Hey! Ho ho! Humongo toadstools everywhere. Oh no, a black goblin is being devoured by matangos. Hold on, I'll save you. Oh boy. Why do I feel like he's not gonna see it that way? Why do I feel like they eat these? Defeat isn't in the elven dictionary. I beat you, Gil. Don't even talk about that. Don't even, don't even lie. I must have breathed in some weird pollen or something. Hey you, are you hurt? What is you doing? Me was happy. Me with lots of toadstools. Oh boy. <laughs> ah! 
All right, I gotta give it to these goblins. They are exceptionally. They don't, he does not have a knockback, which is insane. Ow. I'm gonna try and see if I can petrify him. Holy cannoli, this guy is angry. Alright, I didn't necessarily think I was going to need to do this, but, like, this goblin is apparently just nasty. Here goes. Get wrecked. Boo -doo -boo 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 -boo. Oh, 80. Do I get to keep him? Because that was awesome. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Are you okay? <sighs> Matango tried to eat me. That was close. Thank you. You saved my life. Me give you lots of toadstools for thanks. That's okay. I don't want any. Hey, I got to keep him. Hey, wait. Get that. Dang it, Jack. <laughs> We can basically just have endless goblins. You is not cold? You is stupid? <laughs> Ricky are so cool and strong. Me want to be like Ricky. Who is you? Tell me or me bite you. Happy. Where is you? Happy. Happy are my partner. No happy make me unhappy. Me wolf rider. Me need to ride happy. He's a wolf rider. Ooh, I want to have that. I wonder if this is what Popo is. Huge. And it stinks. All right. Oh, God. All right, cool. <laughs> Ow. Don't you just hate war? Don't you just hate war? <laughs> I froze it as it bounced on the floor. Right. Excellent. It's going to be a while before I level up again. All right. Oops. We have three. We should be able to like... Oh, dang it. Thank you. Poplio. Poplo. I already forgot his name. It's this way. Please don't let there. Wait, it's this way. Yes. It's clear. Remember which well, I will probably be able to tell from uh, We'll probably be able to tell from their levels. Oh What happened to this one? What was I doing? What's wrong with you? I didn't think goblins could speak normally like humans. Hey, could you be more insulting? Huh, sorry Apology accepted by the way. I hear you're looking for people to join you. Yeah, I am it would be rude to ignore someone in trouble I will help you on your journey. Really? Thanks. Okay. 
I'm just getting all the goblins. Like, I literally could have a whole party full of nothing but goblins. What's a death clover? Me need three. Okay, I have three. Do I not have? I... I swear to God, I've been... What? all okay but that one that one was the best the the thing about all of them was that they did a, a lot of damage so I'm like interested in using all of them I don't know why I'm trying so hard to get Poplio, but the fact that he's difficult to get makes me think that there must be a reason to have him oh dang it Wait, no, 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 no. Hang on. Send me back up. You know, we can always come back for Pop Leo. <laughs> I thought this would be an easy thing to do, but this is turning into a solid 10 out of 10 for, you know, stuff that's taking way too long to do because apparently I only picked up two of those. I swear. Aw, oh, dang it. We're gonna, we're just gonna speed rush this. Zach. There we go. Got it. Dang it. Did I not pick one up? Oh, we got one. Oh, I got one, guys. I got one. I got the last one. Even though there were like 40 of them, Jack. You just suck major butt. Oh, we can teleport back from here. We'll probably save here in the goblin camp so that I can, uh... Oh, we'll pick up tomorrow. Or, I mean, on Monday. Yes, yes, put in here. Boil, 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 kabloom. Finally done. You help me. Drink lots of soup. Ting home lots of soup. Um... Hey, Popo! We got Popo. Actually, okay, we're gonna go back. Because I want to take a look at the friends list and see what we got. Because we got quite a lot of them. And I'm excited... And also very nervous. I'm going to save too because God forbid I lose any of that. I would buy the iron armor. But why buy the iron armor when I could buy the one after it? For so much more. There was a pig, right? No, wait, the pig was downstairs, wasn't it? I don't remember where the pig was. I want to see our friends list. Oh, hey, we're back. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Jack, here you are. Sarge and Daniel? It's been a while, Jack. I didn't know you guys were coming. You surprised me. Oh, no, Jack. Come on. What are you doing? Jack, answer me. Why are you here? Well, it's not true, is it? You haven't turned against us and sided with the non-humans, have you? Daniel, we've come to take you home. Everyone at Theater Vancouver and Act are so worried about you. Daniel, I... 
Wayne? Let me handle this. Who are you? I'm talking to Jack. Sorry, but Jack is with us now. You liar! Let him go! Oh gosh. Sergeant? Daniel, stay back. We're taking the kid back home. He's here because he wants to be. Are you going to force him to return? Yep, even if I have to drag him back myself. <laughs> and if I stand in your way? I know all about you, Gawain, Lion of the West. Oh boy, so you've heard of me. Yeah, once upon a time I wanted to become a knight. And then he became a boozer. You will fight me, knowing who I am? Of course! Jack is a comrade and friend. Daniel, things are going to get rough. Sarge, Daniel, I... Jack, if you really want to stay and fight us humans, then prove it to us. <laughs> the seam down his face. Well, this is it. We're fighting Sarge and Daniel. Oh, you know... Hang on. Actually. If a goblin is in your party, yeah. There we go. You guys, uh, take care of Sarge. Oh, they took care of Sarge. Oh, Gawain did the final hit. Hi, Mac. Hey, Boontard. I mean, Ma Mac Barn. Sorry. Explosions, it solves everything. Of course. My brain farted there. And just inserted. <laughs> Damn. You've grown strong. Sarge, I'm not going back. Even if that means you have to turn your back on humans? On us? Yes, I've chosen my path. I lost any doubts I had with this battle. Aw, Jack. I know now why I'm here. Well, you tell us then. Jack, why are you here? I'm here to protect Ridley. Jack, to the whole of Radiata, you're a felon and a traitor. Your friends of yesterday are going to be hunting you down today. But if that's the path you chose, you should stick to it. Be a man. That's the last piece of advice I'm giving you as your ex-sergeant. Sarge. Sir Gawain, take good care of this idiot. Yeah, okay, he is an idiot. See, never mind. I doubt we'll be seeing each other ever again. I cried the first time I played this part. Bye. <laughs> Bless this sweet summer child. Oh, what are you guys up to? Were you looking for me? Hmm? No, I wasn't. Really? That's weird. Chat told me you were. I think he was just playing a joke on you. He likes tricking people. What? Hi. He's really good at it, too, so be careful next time you talk to him. Hi. Uh, where is chat? I'm getting bored of training alone. Will you train with me for a while? Sure. Okay, here we go. Anything to get more party members. I need everybody. I think I have, like... I think I'm catching up to where I was before. To be fair, with Gil, like, we got pretty much the one character we needed. You're doing great, buddy. Great training. Great training. I love this spear. I wish it could last forever, but... It's shiny, what can I say? I love me a shiny spear. Well, maybe next time. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't get to keep him. There's no booze here. Dwarves can't live without a drink now and then. Okay, I didn't read the rest of it. <laughs> Gawain's shoes. We've arrived at the fort. I'll go and speak with Lord Zane. We'll meet later. See you later, Gawain. I'm gonna go look at my party roster, because I want to see what I got. Gawain leaves your party. Coco? You're that human. Oh, it's Mikey. Um, 
Do you think it's really bad for humans and elves to associate? No, I don't think that. Why do you ask? Lord Zane despises humans. I know where he's coming from. In the ancient time, a human woman bore the child of the elf king. As a result, Algandars was born. The plague is fatal to elves. Lord Zane's brother, Lord Nogueira, became a victim. But I like the things you humans write. Aw, oh, Mikey. I like everything about you, really. That's why, why, I need your help. For what? Elgandar's castle, a cursed castle, was the residence of the ancient king. If we went there, we might find a way to lift the curse from humans and elves. That's what I believe. So you want me to help you explore the castle? Okay, let's do it. Oh god, that castle. A castle that's been sealed for centuries. I hope we find some useful clues. We need to find a way for elves and humans to coexist. Aw, oh, bless. Bless this time. Hey, Mikey's in my party! Or we're just gonna go do that? Okay. <laughs> Bye. I can't really afford anything. This is what I need. I need Aleph's strain. I need it. <laughs> I need it more than I need a new weapon. Alright, let's see who we got. She's level 28. Okay, so Basso is the closest. He's level 27. Then there's Pietro, Giorgio, uh, Polpo, Nico. Literally all of my friends are goblins. I, I dig it. I think that is still the best party that we could have, though. You captured the fort by yourself, right? I had no choice. Whatever the reason, you are so cool. <laughs> I guess I am cool. You are. You are. You so are. I've never spoken to anyone as cool as you before. Oh, friends. Um, will you be my friend? I don't even have to be your friend. I'll be your minion if you want. Let's be friends. Oh, right. My buddies aren't going to believe it. Bless. <laughs> uh, who do we got? All right. I think... Franz isn't at the bottom. We'll give him that much. I, uh, I almost want to take Ridley out of the party simply because she is not... She's not a forever character. We're not going to have her forever. But I, I also just really want to have Ridley in the party. So, I mean, whoever we replace her with, we are going to have to replace her. Alright, let's save. And we're going to call it a night on this game but hey I mean we are coming along ladies and gentlemen I almost <laughs> I almost want to go take a look at the weapons again we're still at 44,000 because I spent quite a bit on uh, books but <sighs> we can't really afford anything Ooh, icicle axe is it's 71, and it's only 14,000, she says. <gasps> Deep Lance. Oh, my God. I can afford it. Oh, I want it. I bought it. I don't regret. Yep. <laughs> we're not going to buy any swords, because literally we're going to get the strongest sword in the game, I, if I remember correctly. Wind Garb is 29. Oof. Maybe I should have bought that... Uh, yeah, you know, I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, look at him. <gasps> I'm gonna sell this. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have, actually. I bet that was for something. Well, <laughs> we're gonna sell that. Yeah, that's fine. Look at her boy. Oh, look at him. The goblins are the only people with Jack's level of intelligence. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, he looks great. <gasps> oh, look at that armor upgrade. Oh, shoosty. Let's go see. What does his faceplate look like? Oh, his faceplate changed. He's looking off to the side. Now it just kind of looks like he's looking off to the left and Ridley's like kind of like peeking in his direction. 
He was like kind of serious in the wind garb, and now look at him. Oh man, his face changed. Wait, 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 wait. Let's appreciate like Jack in the very beginning of the game and how much of a baby he looked like versus like how he looks down here. Ah, oh, times have changed. Bless. He's gonna look great next to Ridley, too. Like, I mean. Whew. Um, where's the. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so. We are going to do the Algandar's Castle quest. I believe it's optional, but I, I could be wrong. Um, I thought it was optional. It's hard. That's what it is. It's hard. So we are going to do the Algandar's quest um, and pray because I remember that being really hard. And yeah, I will see you guys on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all of you spending your time here as always. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Be well. <laughs>